Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Maurice Dimba, and today we are going to generate drawings using a macro that has been particularly developed for creating drawings from a well from a very well defined model like this one you're seeing on the screen here. And we'll get started right away. First of all, let me just turn this around so that you take a look of the whole model if this is your first. Uh, video is your first video to bump on and uh, if you've been following this we've used this model several times so if you've been following this well and good this should not be new to you now let me just turn this and show you the parts of the of this model here here we are and let's not move around so much and the macro we are going to use and uh we'll just we, we will access it under applications and components here just click here and just type erec uh, erection drawing just type erection drawing this is the macro we are going to use to generate drawings now to access the property view of this macro is uh, if you want to access that you just double click on the macro right there and the property window will pop up this is the one it looks simple and is very very useful when it comes to generating drawings let's say the assembly drawings uh, the elevations the plan the plan view and i mean all all types of drawings from ga to elevation views and assembly and assemblies and single parts now let's just have a look at it on uh, how to use it to generate drawings now here we have the general options we have the general attribute file so we have plan and elevations so we pick the options that we, we intend to view or to view from our model now if you click this uh, drop down arrow we have these options we have the foundation plan we have the 3d view we have uh, the, uh, the general elevation we have the general plan and we have the uk roll uh, cold roll and the, the normal standard of uh, drawing creation same to elevation option here now for today i'll click here and pick on the foundation plan and a plan then uh, come here and pick on grid elevations we need grid elevations from the uh, from the foundation plan we we'll pick that though we have several options we, you can pick we have options here if you want to pick from so for today we will pick on the grid elevation that will be generated from the foundation plan now under elevation we'll pick uh, the ga elevation the general elevation and uh, also will require the grid elevations from the from these from that and that's all now on on options here we can uh, pick on the prefix on uh, how to mark or name our drawings we can just type a b and leave it like that then uh, the numbering start from sheet one and we get off by just clicking create and you will get immediate instruction down here please select the grid we'll select this grid we'll just select this grid here and the moment i select you'll be prompted with this uh dialog box you'll be able to see the uh, drawing generation cre uh, i mean drawing creation is proceeding is progressing you can see that take a look and we'll give it some time to create all the drawings then we'll be able to access the drawings and uh, drawing list and open the ones that we really need to use and uh, also we can discard the repetitive ones there we are and it's complete now we don't want to use this anymore We'll just go ahead and close it you can also see down here you've been uh, you've received information that the plan and the elevation drawings has been created and now we'll close this and close these applications and component uh, window here we'll just close that now we'll just zoom out and come to 
drawings and reports here and come to drawing list or you can just press ctrl l that will take you that will take you to uh, uh drawing list but in this case i like to go to st step by step because we have a number of groups following this channel some are uh, have been following this to to an extent that they've learned a lot some are just picking from uh, scratch so i prefer using the the menu bar to access the commands now i'll come under drawing list and click on drawing list and if i make it big you can see the list of drawings that has been generated using that macro i think that is a very useful tool when it comes to a design and drafting in tecla structures now we want to pick one of these drawings just three or four of them and uh, the ones that looks uh, similar we can pick one of them and then discard the rest now i'll just double click on the first one uh, it has been opened and to check it to just minimize this window and this is the plan view don't mind about the title block we are coming on how to customize your title block while the drawings are inside your title block we'll customize this we'll not use the tecla structure one we'll just use a different one on the next presentation so keep following this and keep watching this on the next on, on the next presentation now this is the plan view we've generated and uh, you can check the dimensions here automatically placed and this is very important when it comes to when you want to mark the column uh, the, the column basis and you want to also to place uh, the anchor anchor balls you, this will help you this will help you then we go back to the list and uh, we want to pick uh, uh, the roof plan from this uh, height you just double click on that and minimize this then this is the roof plan is the roof plan but it uh that that the depth of our view is very small it's about 500 millimeter so we can't view the we can't view the top of our roof now what we want to do is for us to be able to reach the the rooftop or uh, the roof plan we'll just click here and double click on it then uh, the moment you click on that we'll come to depth depth down and depth up we'll increase this to 14 we'll just take it to 14 or we we'll just take it to 14 right there 14 meters high and also we can just pick this copy that and we'll paste it here just paste paste it here instead of writing it or um repetitively now once i've uh, fed here my dimensions the depth or the height from uh, the zero zero level to the top of our roof we'll be able to to have a view of uh, uh the plan view of 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 our roof now i'll go ahead here and click modify though it will take some time to process this information so we'll just give it some time and uh, and now we can take a look now i'll go ahead and now close this i'll close this and uh, just zoom out and in and uh, we can see the plan view of this this is how it looks now for now don't worry about the title block we'll work on it on the next presentation now you can see the distance interval of six meters and this is how it looks you can see the span of uh, 30 meters and a uh, uh, full length of 120 meters 120 meters you can see that this is the plan this is the plan on foundation now we can change the information here by just double clicking on this and uh, we come to label here and pick on the first button then uh, click this and drag 
double click here and change this uh, the roof plan you can change this to roof plan yes you know just maintain it at capital roof plan roof plan then click modify you can even change the color if you want and uh, go ahead and click modify apply and uh, give a nod there by clicking on ok just give it some time to implement the text that we just rectified or modified then we can go ahead and click apply then click ok then we close this then we have the roof plan here the text is there written roof plan a preview of our staircase here though the staircase will still work on it so today just particularly to show you on another way on how you can generate your drawings particularly using a macro apart from the the normal way of uh, going to reports uh, drawings and reports and uh, create uh, create drawings and uh, and that's all now that is how this macro works now let's go back we'll save that now let's go back to the drawing list and we'll g still give it some time to process the saving of this uh, drawing now we can go back to drawing list and click that then uh, we can now come to elevation and we can click on that and try to check whether this is the appropriate, appropriate elevation view we want and this is the elevation view at at the gable this is what we have and from here you can add some some dimensions you're free to add some dimensions you can see at the gable we have a span uh, a span of 30 meters you can see this and the title block is just the default one and will uh, make a very nice title block it's right inside here on the next presentation now we'll go back to to the drawing list now we've picked this one and we've picked this one and we've picked this one so we have the the plan view and we have uh, the roof plan and we have the elevation at the gable now we'll come to another section where we'll we come to grid b and click on that just minimize this and check now we have an elevation that will that captures the uh the crane rail gutter you can see this and also you can place your dimensions here you can come to dimensions here you can add some dimensions maybe from here maybe from that spot going all the way to the top here you can add another dimension here it right on top here just double click right click and interrupt and uh, we have our dimension another dimension here just drag this and place it somewhere there and also you can add so many dimensions you can uh, add this view this height from the zero level you can add a height here so these are the drawings that you need to to select the drawings that you really need uh, to be part of your to, uh, complete drawings for the model now we also have an option of also exporting these to autocad and also another way of combining all the all these drawings to a single drawings here in one title block and all those i'll be able to show you on the next presentation and uh, let's let's save this and give it some time to save then go back to plan view and uh, we go to a uh, grid six and double click on that and open it then uh, we minimize this and still we, we're still having another view of the another elevation of a uh, crane rail gutter so we can pick the first one so you know that i start repetitive now all these are along the f the length of our model so the v the elevations will be capturing 
um, the gable and uh, the elevation view of the crane gutter. Now let's pick on the grid one here and take a look on which part is being elevated. Minimize that. You can see you can see this elevation view from the side view of the model. You can see that. You can also add these dimensions. You can see that. You can take a look at the here. You can take a look and don't worry once again about the title block. We'll rescale this and it will fit right inside the title block. And keep watching and keep tracking this up to the next presentation and you'll be able to capture something and learn from that. Then let me open that, then come to grid 2 and I'll open that. Then uh, minimize and we'll have a look. This has captured the the stays that uh, that are bracing our our palings to the main drafter. You can see that perfectly well. And if you and this can help you in giving the details on how uh, the stays are attaching its, uh, uh, themselves to the to the palings. Now that is enough. What we'll do just save all the drawings that we've we've created are saved, and uh, we'll close this now. And we're back to our model. Maximize this, and we'll close this, and we'll save everything here, which will include even the drawings that we've just generated. Now, that is enough for today, and uh, let's meet on the next presentation. And bye bye, I'm Morris Diba. And uh, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And let's meet then.